Hi, this is Michelle. Let's jump into the next no-code video. So to display a table using the database, for example, the quantities of products in stock, you must first create a Supabase data node. You need one Supabase data node per table. So I move the Supabase data node up in the node tree to place it under the Supabase authentication node, since we only want it to have access to if the user is logged in. So in the inspector of the Supabase data node, we will link its URL attributes to the Supabase URL variable already filled in. And its API key attribute to the Supabase key variable also filled in. This time we're going to choose the products table. And then let's go to the graph of the page home node. Let's extend the output of the is authenticated condition to display the list rows block. And let's extend the output of rows to automatically convert it into a new variable type of objects, rows. Connect the output of list rows to set rows. And then we go to the table node to link its list attribute to the variable we have just created so that the data displayed is dynamic. Now when we launch the preview mode, the data is not displayed because we have not yet defined the rule for allowing the data of the products table to be displayed for all authenticated users. This is a table-based protection to prevent the data from being spread without our permission. So let's look to see how to make this protection more permissive. Now the RLS must be written in SQL, but I'll show you a simple and repeatable way to do this. So let's go into Supabase and into the products table. Let's click on No Active RLS Policies. And then on New Policy. And then Get Started Quickly. Let's select the second option, Enable Insert Access for All Authenticated Users. And let's replace the policy name, Insert by Select in the Rule Name. And in the Allowed operation, choose Select instead of Insert. Then in check expression, let's put true. And we'll see the preview of the RLS rule and we can click on save policy. Now by going back to Voltap and selecting preview mode, we reconnect. And we now see that our user John Doe has access to view dynamic data from a portion of the database. And that's it. This tutorial on the data mode in Voltap is finished. You now know how to control an advanced database that you can use very securely, you can use offline, or you can use on your own servers. To learn better how to use connections with Supabase, please see our tutorial on user accounts and portals, or the one on advanced data. You're now all ready to create your own database, so I hope you try this at home. Thanks for joining for this no-code video. Don't forget to join us for our next one.